Hello everybody and welcome to the Crazy Quail Quail Farm. <clears throat> I'm CJ, the owner of the Quail Farm and I'm going to give you a little bit of history about myself and my family regarding the quail. Guys, I'm getting still trying to get used to using these selfie sticks and whatnot. I'm trying to get used to this camera and all that good stuff so if, if the production quality is not up to snuff, it's because I'm new at it. So we just have to get by with it. <clears throat> but when I was a little boy, around 10 years old, my Aunt Mary Ann and Uncle Sonny had a huge quail farm on their property. I had dozens of incubators <clears throat> and hatchers and brooder rooms. And they grew jumbo brown quail, Catonix quail. I myself have grown the same thing as an adult. And did very well with it, but got out of it. <clears throat> well, I'm getting back into it this time, but I'm going in with a different kind of quail. I'm going in with the tuxedo Catonix quail. Now, see, I remember gathering the eggs and getting them put in the flats and ready to go into the incubator. I remember moving the eggs from the incubator into the hatcher. I remember getting the little button quail out and putting them under the lights and taking care of them, dipping their beaks and all this. And I'll explain what all this stuff means to you as we go along. But we're, uh, we're going to show you step by step from start to finish what it looks like. And I'm glad that you've decided to come along with us on this ride. I can only hope and pray that the Lord blesses it to the fullest. And I hope he blesses you by letting you see us do our thing and make our mistakes and fall down and get back up again and all the things that goes along with quail farming. But some of my fondest memories are sitting around a table listening to my aunt and uncle talk about the quail and the love that they had for these birds and I guess it kind of rubbed off because I just love them myself. I love the sounds that they make, I love the sounds of their wings, I just love everything there is about them and they actually bring me a great deal of joy and peace. And well, who couldn't use a little joy and peace in this day and age? And they're an excellent source for alternative meat and at the end of the day that's what a quail farm is about it's about producing a sustainable meat product and egg product that can be enjoyed by one or many and we hope ours to be many so now that you know a little bit about us y'all strap in we're going to take you on a ride <clears throat> 